Okay, uh, we've been working a little bit with the beta integral function. Um, this was the definition here. And in one of our earlier videos, we showed that this standard form can also be transformed into the trig equivalent for the uh, beta function. And then we spent a couple of videos uh, showing this relation that the beta function is equal to the gamma function of these two variables divided by the gamma function of some of these two variables. And what we want to do in this video is establish a reduction formula for the beta function. Once we do that, and finally we'll have all the tools that we need to use this information to solve some integrals with. Now, before we get started, we want to point out that in one of our earlier videos on integration techniques, we derive the reduction formula for different types of our trig integrals. And one of them that we worked with was, was the integral where the sine is raised to a certain power, the cosine is raised to a different power, and the limits of the integrals go from 0 to pi over 2. And that integral, we just abbreviate that as IMN. And we derived two different reduction formulas for this um, integral here. And here they are. If this looks unfamiliar, you might want to take some time and go back and look at those previous videos. What we want to do is use the reduction formula here and apply it to this integral right here sine of theta to the 2m minus 1 times the cosine of theta to the 2n minus 1 d theta. And so to get us started, this will be equal to we're going to apply this formula here. It says sine to the m, it's that power there, minus 1 we have sine to the 2m minus 1, so it's going to be this power here, minus 1, so we'll have 2m minus 1, minus 1, and the denominator is this exponent plus this exponent, so the denominator here will be this exponent plus this exponent, 2m plus 2n minus 2. And that is times this integral. Here is this exponent minus 2. Here it's going to be this exponent minus 2. So that's going to be 2m minus 1 minus 2 will be minus 3. This exponent stays the same, so this exponent here will stay the same. And this will be equal to, this is 2m minus 2, we can factor a 2 out of there. We'll have m minus 1. And it looks like we can factor our 2 out of this. We'll have 2m plus n minus 1. And what is this integral? 0 to pi over 2. Sine raised to this power, the cosine raised to that power. Or the sine of theta to this power. times the cosine of theta to the 2n minus 1 power d theta. So what we've shown is this integral here has is it equal to this integral here times this coefficient. This is to the 2m minus 1 power. This is to the 2m minus 3 power. So, we had a reduction in power here. Um, this has stayed the same. So what we'll do now 
Uh, and the next step is let's take this integral here and we'll apply this reduction formula to it. So we're going to have that this stays the same. We have m minus 1 divided by m plus n minus 1. And what we're going to have now, we'll have the integral of Okay, this says m, that's from this exponent here, um, that's this exponent right here, which is 2m minus 3, but before we do that, let's not forget our coefficient here. This is to the coefficient to the power n, this is n minus 1, this is to the power 2n minus 1, so this is going to be 2n minus 1 minus 1. And to get this denominator, that was these two exponents added. To get this denominator, it's going to be these two exponents added. So we're going to have 2m plus 2n. minus 3 minus 1. Okay, now times the integral. I am, that was just the exponent here, so here it's just going to be the, this exponent right here. So we're going to have 2m minus 3, and then this exponent minus 2, here it's going to be this exponent here minus 2, or that's going to be 2n minus 3. So let's see, here we have this equals m minus 1, m plus n minus 1. Here we have 2 n minus 2, so we can rewrite it like this, divided by, we can take a 2 out of here, 2 times m plus n minus 2, which of course will cancel, and what is this integral going to be? Integral 0 to pi over 2, sine raised to this power, cosine raised to this power. So we have it like this. D theta. So finally what we have is, going back to our original integral here, Integral from 0 to pi over 2, sine of theta to the 2m minus 1 times the cosine of theta to the 2n minus 1 d theta equals m minus 1 divided by m plus n minus 1 times n minus 1 divided by m plus n minus 2 m plus n minus 2 times this integral. Sine of theta to the 2m minus 3 cosine theta to the 2n minus 3 okay um, 
that was not too difficult to derive. We just used the reduction formula that we established before. We just used it twice. We multiply both sides by 2. This is now the beta function. So we can say beta of m n equals m minus 1 times n minus 1 m minus 1 times n minus 1 divided by m plus n minus 1 times m plus n minus 2 and what about this integral right here? 2 times from 0 to pi over 2 sine not to the 2m minus 1 but the 2m minus 3 not 2n minus 1 but 2n minus 3 and that would be the beta function of m minus 1 n minus 1. And we don't have to go any further. That right there is the beta reduction formula. And it's not as difficult to work with as what it appears. m minus 1 times n minus 1 divided by m plus n minus 1 times m plus n minus 2 times the beta function of m minus 1 n minus 1. Um, come back and join us in the next video. We'll take some practical examples uh, at applying the beta reduction formula. And uh, once you go through a couple of examples, you see it's a pretty handy tool. And we can solve it uh, to um, accomplish integration, which before uh, was just beyond our capabilities. So come back and join us for those videos.